Hey, what's up guys? It's Buck, and today I'm going to be showing you my complete Blu-ray collection. Not quite as impressive as uh, Justin and Nate's by far, but uh, nevertheless, let's get into it. Alright, so I got them all in alphabetical order, so I'll try to make this quick, not too long. Got the uh, Daniel Craig and the Pierce Brosnan 007 collection, 10 Cloverfield Lane, Akira, Amazing Spider-Man 1, Anaconda, classic, the uh, Anchorman, Rich Mahogany edition. This actually came with a, a book written in character uh, by Ron Burgundy and a t-shirt. Lost the t-shirt. Got the Ant-Man Steelbook, the Best Buy exclusive one. Got uh, Army of Darkness. The Screwhead Edition, Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 1, and this is the lenticular cover version. All three Austin Powers movies, Avengers 1, Avengers Age of Ultron, the Steelbook, the Babadook, that's the one that uh, folds out and is all fancy and whatnot. Got the 90's Batman collection there, Dark Knight. Uh, Deluxe Edition, Under the Red Hood, uh, Batman vs. Superman, the Target exclusive with the little booklet. Really like this edition. Bernie, Big Lebowski, Biodome. I want to show you something I did with Biodome. I slapped, uh, slapped one of those on there because I'm such a diehard fan. But anyways, got the Braveheart Steelbook, Black Sheep, Bottle Rocket. Uh, Captain America 1, Winter Soldier, Civil War, The Steel Book, Cedar Rapids, Chasing Amy, Clerks 1 and 2, CM Punk, Best in the World, Conjuring 1. I don't have Conjuring 2, unfortunately. Uh, Cowboy Bebop, The Complete Series, Curse of Chucky, Creed, Dallas Buyers Club, Darjeeling Limited, The Dark Knight Trilogy, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, Deadpool, and I swapped out... Uh, I bought the Terminator and it came with the red case and I thought it would be uh, better suited on Deadpool. So, also we got Deep Blue Sea, Departed, Disturbia, and Django Unchained. So moving on down to the second shelf here we got Dodgeball, we got Dogma. I was lucky enough to find this used, didn't have to pay the internet price. Uh, Donnie Darko, every season of uh, Dragon Ball Z. Got the Evil Dead 1 Steelbook, Evil Dead 2 Extract, Ernest Goes to Jail and Ernest Goes to Camp, Eagle Eye, Eraser Head, Forrest Gump, uh, Fast and the Furious. I uh, don't, what is it, six movies? So it doesn't come with the last two or the last one. I don't know. I don't plan on buying any more Fast and the Furious movies other than the ones that I already have. Uh, we got Filmage, The Descendants documentary, Fury, The Fourth Kind, uh, Game of Thrones seasons, it's, what seasons are these? I can't even see. Third and fourth season, uh, Ghostbusters 1 and 2, the, uh, the double pack collection, the mastered in 4K. Uh, we got Ghost in the Shell, the original anime, and the, uh, let's see, what is it? The Mondo Steelbook, I couldn't think of. The company name for a minute. Got Ghost in the Shell live action Best Buy exclusive uh, 4K Steelbook. The Gift. Uh, Godzilla. The American Godzilla. And it's the Mastered in 4K edition. Allegedly these Mastered in 4K editions do look different uh, and are better quality than just the standard Blu-rays but not as good quality as the actual Ultra 4k discs. Uh, I got Gone Girl, don't have the book that came with it unfortunately. Uh, Good Night Mommy, Goodwill Hunting, Grand Budapest Hotel. I hope Grand Budapest Hotel gets a Criterion release one of these days. Uh, the Green Mile, uh, Green Room, which is still sealed, have not even opened this up and watched it yet. I know, it's a crying shame. I uh, got the Guardians of the Galaxy 1 uh, Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Did not get the set volume 2 steelbook. I passed it up, uh, kind of regretting it, but regardless, I got Guyver, the, what is it, the 2006 anime uh, complete Blu-ray collection. Uh, Hangover 1, Hatchet, 
the Hateful Eight Steelbook. Love this steelbook, love the art. Uh, Haunting in Connecticut. Uh, Hot Tub Time Machine, Idle Hands, great movie, uh, great horror comedy, very underrated. Uh, if you have not seen it, please check it out. It's almost Halloween time, so check it out. Uh, Inception, Inherent Vice, another one I still have not watched. Uh, and Glorious Bastards, and that'll do it for that shelf. Alright, now we're starting out on the uh, third row here. We got Iron Man, and that is one of the first Blu-rays I ever bought. Uh, we got Jackass 3, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, Joyride, uh, all three Jurassic Park movies. We got a DC double feature of uh, Crisis on uh, Two Earths and Flashpoint Paradox. Then we got uh, Kingsman, Corn live on the other side, essential. And then we got Krampus, we got Life Aquatic. We got the Logan uh, 4K. This is the Walmart exclusive, uh, the Ultra HD 4K version of that. Uh, Mad Max Fury Road, Major Pain, Mallrats, the Man of Steel Steelbook. Found this used, only $12.99. Uh, Marley and Me, Moonrise Kingdom. I know this has a Criterion release, but I have not purchased it yet. I plan on doing that. Uh, we got Office Space, Old School, uh, Pacific Rim. Patriot, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I think this is a uh, yeah, 100 years of movie memories. And this kind of has like a uh, fold-out thing there with some info on Paramount and whatnot. Then we got the Power Rangers Steel Book. This is the Target exclusive, I believe. Didn't, did not come with the 4K. Uh, I still... I want to keep this edition, but I also want the 4K at the same time, so probably going to have to purchase that one again. Then we got uh, Pretty Sweet here, which is the Girl uh, and Chocolate Skateboard Company's uh, skate film, their latest one. And uh, if you did not know, this is the first skateboarding film ever released on Blu-ray, so I would suggest you checking it out. Even if you're not a fan of skateboarding, it's still, still worth checking it out. Uh, and then we got uh, the Thomas Jane Punisher, and then we got Punisher Warzone. Um, I'm planning on buying a region-free Blu-ray player at some point, and I really want to get the uh, Punisher 89 Steelbook. I just love that Steelbook. I think it's awesome. And then we got uh, Rambo, Rise of the Planet of the Apes Steelbook. And we got Rocky IV, uh, and then Rocky Balboa. The only two I have on Blu-ray. I actually have all of the Rocky films on VHS, but only two on Blu-ray. Uh, real crime. And we got Role Models, Rogue One, the uh, Target exclusive edition. The Royal Tenenbaums, Rumble in the Bronx, still have not opened that. Rushmore, Sherlock Holmes 1, Shutter Island, So I Married an Axe Murderer, uh, South Park, Bigger, Bad, and Uncut, still have not opened that one either. Spaceballs, Spawn, uh, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man Trilogy, Starship Troopers, which they are coming out with a 4K edition of this, and I cannot wait. Um, Star Wars A Complete Series, we got Star Wars The Force Awakens, uh, we got The Steelbook from Best Buy, uh, Star Wars Rebels Seasons 1 and 2. Moving on to the last shelf, and we got The Strangers, T2 Train Spotting. I also have... Uh, Train Spotting 1 on Blu-ray, but uh, Nate is currently borrowing it, and he has been borrowing it for the last few months, and still has not watched it. Uh, so we got the Terminator 1, we got the Terminator 2 Steelbook. This is one of my favorite all-time Steelbooks. I just love this uh, all over the fire print. I think that's awesome. And then I got Terminator uh, Genesis. Let me just put this to the side. Terminator Genesis. This is 40. This is the end. Uh, Tim and Eric's Billion Dollar Movie, uh, Essential to Any Collection. We got Titanic, Training Day, Tropping, tro eh, Tropic Thunder, Troy, all three Ninja Turtles movies. We got the uh, Region Free Twin Peaks, The Entire Mystery. Got that for a steal of a deal. Got Twister, got uh, Walking Dead first and second season. I used to have three and four as well, but I recently just sold them. And uh, 4 was the Steelbook edition. I just have no 
intention of ever rewatching those seasons. The only seasons I'd ever rewatch of Walking Dead are one and two and maybe five. I really soured on this show. Uh, moving on, one of the most underrated movies of all time, Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story. Uh, we've got Walking Tall, Wanderlust, The Watch, which is, I think The Watch is uh, pretty underrated myself. Got Watchmen 4K Ultimate Edition, the Ultimate Cut, but you know what sucks about this is that the Director's Cut is not in 4K, it's only on the standard Blu-ray. And uh, when I watch Watchmen, I definitely just want to watch the Director's Cut, so it's very disappointing that uh, the Ultimate Cut is the only cut on the 4K disc itself. Because uh, when you watch that, and, and I don't know about you guys, but I always skip through the uh, Tales of the Black Freighter parts. So it's just kind of a, a nuisance to have to do that if I really want to watch Watchmen 4K. Uh, Woman in Black 1, Wolf of Wall Street, The X-Men Trilogy, X-Men First Class, X-Men Days of Future Past, X-Files Fight the Future, and X-Files I Want to Believe. Triple uh, X One. This deserves a 4K. I, I really wish they would release the first Triple X on 4K. I haven't seen the second one yet. I'm sure it's a pile of shit, um, but I love the first one. Nate and I are big fans of the first one. Uh, Yoga Hosers, You, Me, and Dupree, Zach and Me Make a Porno, Zombieland, and then just sitting over here that I haven't put up yet. I've got some wrestling and UFC. I got uh, UFC Ultimate 100 Greatest Fights, which is an essential Blu-ray. Uh, or DVD purchase if you are an, a fan of MMA. It is really great. I wish they would come out with like a volume two, uh, 100 more Ultimate Fights or something along those lines because it is a great, great set. Uh, then we got NWO The Revolution, The Click Rules, Goldberg Ultimate Collection, and Sling Blade. And that, my friends, is my entire Blu-ray collection. Thank you for watching. Please drop a like if you like the video and subscribe for more content.